Hey guys, it's Georgia. Welcome to Vader Day 21. And it is now 10 p.m. and it is very late and I have not had an idea for today. So I'm going to show you my CD collection because I don't have like a Spotify account and I don't really use iTunes, but I do still collect CDs. So I figured I'd go through them and I'd just show you what I have and maybe you can recommend some new music for me to listen to down below in the comments. I have all my CDs in alphabetical order by artist last name or by band. So the first one I have is Run by Alice in Wonderland. I didn't really enjoy this CD. I bought it purely for um, Groove in the Moo last year. Kids in the Street by The All American Reject. Don't Panic by All Time Low. And I do have some of All Time Low's other CDs. It's just it's in my sister's collection. I love All Time Low. I am going to see them in the next month. So I'm very excited. I have Yuck and A is for Alpine by Alpine. Um, Alt-J's two albums, who I don't really listen to much anymore. I did listen to for a while. Oh What A Life by the American Authors. Bug, um, Suck It and See, and AM by Arctic Monkey. Coming up to one of my favorite artists is Bastille. I have All This Bad Blood, Wild World, uh, Bastille versus Other People's Heartaches, part two. And I'm really upset because I got Wild World the day it came out, but unfortunately it is not the extended edition, so I haven't actually listened to a couple of the songs, but I just, I really hope he comes back to Australia. Last time he was in Australia, I missed out and I was devastated. Eternal Return and The Overture and The Underscore by Sarah Blasco. Sarah Blasco is an Australian artist who I have seen live as well. She did come to my hometown and I got to see her perform and it was wonderful. I then have Nothing Touches Me by British India, which is another Australian band who I saw live last year at Group in the mood. Next I have Broods and I've got um, Evergreen and then their self-titled EP. I don't have their recent album. I haven't actually listened to many of those songs yet. Chet Faker's Built on Glass. Next is my <laughs> Full Out Boy collection. I have, I'm pretty sure I've got all of their albums, but there is American Beauty, American Psycho, Save Rock and Roll, the Pac Sam edition, uh, Folia Dukes, Infinity on High, From Under the Cork Tree, and then Believers Never Die. Um, I've got Fox's Glorious and All I Need. Um, I fell in love with Fox's um, thanks to Fall Out Boy as she was um, featuring in one of their songs. Dylan Francis's um, Money Sucks and Friends Rule. Frey, the self-titled, and the Scars and Stories. Green Day's American Idiot. Badlands by Halsey. I didn't like her new song. I feel really bad. I don't like the one she just released. and. Um, I don't, I don't really have any good opinions on it, which I'm sorry. Yeah. The next band I have is Hello Goodbye, and I have four of their CDs. There is Zombies, Aliens, Vampires, Dinosaurs. And then I've got the EP slash DVD, but the DVD isn't in my region. I bought this one on eBay, and it's really, it really sucks because I have a MacBook. I have to change the region code every time I want to watch the music video. It's my favorite Hello Goodbye album, which is Would It Kill You? Everything is debatable. Um, Imagine Dragons, Night Visions. Got two of the Killers albums. I have Battleborn and Hot Fuss. Mr. Brightside is a classic. <laughs> Lifehouse box set, because I had the option to buy the one CD I wanted for $20, or I bought the whole set for $25. Then I have Lords, Pure Heroine. Um, this one here is Lupa J, and it is an EP. She uh, was a side act for Sarah Belasco, when I definitely recommend checking her out. Then I have two Matchbox 20 CDs. I have More Than You Think You Are and North, and I got these two secondhand. I think my favorite thing about Matchbox 20 is probably the Parks and Recreation quote, where, um, where he's like, there's two things I know about white people. They love Matchbox 20 and they're afraid of curses. Uh, Mayday Parade. So I've got Monsters in the Closet, Anywhere But Here, and A Lesson in Romantics. Uh, next I have Ms. Mister, How Does It Feel? And here we've got Kate Nash's Girl Talk. Um, one of my favorite songs by her is Pumpkin Soup. I don't particularly like this album, but I really like Pumpkin Soup. Uh, next I have Of Monsters and Men, Beneath the Skin. Uh, I've got Sam San Cisco. I've got my Panic at the Disco collection, which I also saw them like last month I think it was or was it January I don't know but I saw them live and it was the best experience I was in the mosh pit and everything I have um, a fever you can't sweat out pretty odd too weird to live too rare to die and vices and virtues my Ed Sheeran collection I haven't bought divide discs so far I haven't liked any of the songs on it that much that's an unpopular opinion but I have you know multiply uh, plus, and then the five EP pack. Favorite on the EPs has to be Loose Chain. Royce of Arms, Blue Neighborhood, The Summer Sets, Everything's Fine. Then I've got some Tame Impala, 21 Pilots, I've got Blurry Face and Vessel. Um, this one here is This Wildlife, and I love This Wildlife. I'm really upset I didn't get to see them at Soundwave a few years back, but they're really good, and I don't 
definitely recommend you check them out. Modern Vampires of the City by Vampire Weekend. Beauty Behind the Madness by The Weekend. Sunshine State of Mind by We Were the Kings. Then I have two of the Wombat CDs. I've got The Modern Glitch and I've got A Guide to Love, Loss and Desperation. And the rest of my CDs now are mainly like soundtrack. Uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayers Once More with Feeling. More Buffy the Vampire Slayer. The Fault in Our Stars soundtrack. Footloose soundtrack. Footloose is definitely one of my favourite movies of all time. The Great Gatsby soundtrack. Guardians of the Galaxy soundtrack, which I'm so looking forward to the next movie. Got The Hunger Games Catching Fire. The Moulin Rouge soundtrack. And then Sabrina the Teenage Witch and Shrek, which were given to me by an old friend. So that is it for my CDs, guys. I hope you like these. And if you have any recommendations, please let me know down below. And if you like any of these bands, also let me know. And we'll see if we can have a conversation about it. All right, I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Bye.